Enough of this Carabao nonsense, it's back to the real trophies. The Premier League is back and so is FW Fantasy ahead of game week 10. We'll start as ever with a market mover, which this week is Watford's Brazilian wonder kid. Richarlison has risen in price three times from his starting price of 6 million after playing 90 minutes in pretty much every game this season for the Hornets. 10 points against Arsenal and Chelsea is nothing to be sniffed at and we reckon managers will keep snapping him up if he scores well against Stoke this weekend, who themselves have conceded the most in the league after nine games. Mohamed Salah is our first must-buy this week, with Liverpool facing some pretty favourable fixtures. Of his next six fixtures, only Chelsea at home stands out as a potentially tricky one, with Huddersfield, West Ham, Southampton, Stoke and Brighton the other five, and with there being little risk of rotation while Sadio Mane is injured, we reckon Salah is a good bet in the premium midfielder market. A differential pick this week is Wilf Zaha. He's owned by just 4% of managers, and if Roy Hodgson can start picking up the points for Crystal Palace, then we reckon Zaha will be at the very centre of any success. The winger could be deployed in a centre-forward role with Christian Benteke out injured and he's dropped 0.3 million from a starting price of 7 after being injured himself at the start of the season. Zaha could really seem like a bargain in a few weeks' time if he gets firing for Palace. This week's Deadwood is Romelu Lukaku, a premium striker who's not really known for scoring against the big clubs and his next two opponents are Spurs and Chelsea. Not only is Lukaku yet to prove that he's more than a flat-track bully, there's also something to be said for his price. According to traditional FPL metrics, he should have dropped in value already this week, perhaps even twice. The fact that he's kept hold of his 11.7 million value would indicate that there has been a rule change at FPL Towers. Something to keep an eye on. That's all from me. Don't forget you can stay up to date with all of our fantasy tips by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and of course subscribing on YouTube. As ever, if you send in your questions, we will do our best to answer them. But for now, this has been your FW Fantasy Update ahead of Game Week 10.